632 on this May 1st, an annual event for many immigrant and worker action groups where they call for a day long strike. May Day calls for people to march and rally Milwaukee hosting what traditionally has been a very large event. Julia Fellow is live with the issues expected to be focused heavily on this year. Julia. Immigrant rights group Voces de la Frontera is leading this charge with a day Lat without Latinos event. I'm told that this year they are focused on two politicians they're going to be bringing up a lot. Governor Scott Walker and also Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark. We have video from last year's march and also in a news release Voces is pushing for marchers they say uh, to come from a dozen cities across our state to take buses to Milwaukee this morning, calling Milwaukee, quote, the national epicenter of the fight against 287G and Trump's efforts to turn local law enforcement into an arm of mass deportation machine. If you don't know what 287G means this morning, it is a section of the U.S. Immigration and Nationality Act. It authorizes Homeland Security to allow our local law enforcement officers to enforce federal immigration laws already in the books. Leaders with this effort also say they will put a call to urge Governor Scott Walker to fire Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark for a stance on immigration, something even last week the governor has repeated over and over is something that he will not do. The march is going to end here in front of the Milwaukee County Courthouse steps. Other organizations that will join is AFL-CIO. There's also going to be the Black Lives Matter movement that will join and Fight for 15 movement. Reporting live at the Milwaukee County Courthouse, Julia Fellow, today's TMJ4.